Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'm pretty much making a public service announcement to anybody that may have missed this, including myself. I'm at fault for this and doing the tests for the generator a couple videos ago. I'm sure some of you noticed that I was flabbergasted at the fact I had to put a pressure relief valve on my fuel tank, therefore making every build up until now obsolete, at least to the point where every build up until now will run into issues with the fuel tank as it starts to drain you will inevitably end up causing such a, a low pressure system in your fuel tank that your engine can no longer even suck that fuel in and it will stall out i actually noticed this a while ago with the um pressured gases update that when you have fuel tanks they now have their own pressure on them which is fine but as people started talking and discussing these types of engines you ended up with uh, a variety of different systems and more or less an existing engine would still work you didn't have to put the little relief valve part so i didn't bother i didn't bother adding that to any of my previous creations my vehicles my boats anything I didn't see the need because again for me it worked properly and it wasn't until I was doing the generator test and looking at these examples that I really noticed that every one of these instances well except this one has the um, pressure relief valve on it and it got me thinking well if that's the case then do you actually cause a detrimental problem on your engine and absolutely you do now maybe some will, some of you will laugh at me and think that i should have known this all along but end of the day this game is much like real life and there's a lot of trial and error and there's certain people that come across certain results they share it some people may or may not know of these results and you kind of compound that effect so for me i did not know that we had to alleviate the pressure i figured whatever the pressure can decrease itself in these fuel tanks without a detrimental effect meaning you just leave it be and who cares whatever pressure it is in there it won't actually change the ability of your engine to perform but of course that is not the case and when you just have a single fuel manifold and a, and a fuel tank like this you could see that pressure is decreasing steadily yet over here where we've added the pressure relief valve it's not decreasing as much in this example i put two pressure relief valves and you can see we're at 1.04 pressure in this one there is a single one and we're at around one atmospheric pressure yet over here we are at 0.4 and as this continues, and as that number keeps dropping, that engine will stall out before all the fuel even gets consumed. So, long story short, you have to put a pressure relief valve on your engine. So, you could see now this one is stalling out. We're getting reduced RPS. Our pressure is around 0.1. Yet, the other ones are still going strong. So, we've drained the rps here it's still going but it is dropping fast and eventually it will stall well before these stall these will go all the way until their tank is empty whereas this one will not go until its tank is empty it's physically not going to be able to pump the fuel into the engine so this is what happens this is just an example obviously your engine configuration will work to a certain point I'd imagine it'll work until you have around 15% of your fluid. So instead of having the full tank capacity like you have on these left examples here, where it'll drain all the way, this one will actually drain 85% of the fuel and then shut off. So even though you, you still have gas in your tank, it can no longer uh, function. And this is something that I actually brought up in another video to the developers way back when. When there was all the craziness regarding the compressed gases update and people were having tons of issues with their creations, modular engines weren't working, etc. You had all kinds of weird stuff. I recommended one of the things, and I still stand by this, is in the select menu, 
that you can select fuel type, you can select fill level, and we have a third clickable option on off, pressure relief. And the reason for that is I believe that gas tanks, much like real life, should be able to bleed off their own um, pressure for the reason of micro builds and tiny creations such as this. Now something that was made a while back and functions perfectly normally in the game, perfectly normal in the game. Now, not only that, I have to extend it, change the shape and add something like this. So that's not ideal. I don't really like that. Not a clean, elegant solution for existing creations. And honestly, what I would have expected and thought would have been great is that pressure relief on off by default. It is on by default it's on therefore we wouldn't have any issues with our past creations we'd be able to load them up and they'd work properly and the tank would be would relieve its pressure relieve its pressure whereas now anything like this again things that were built well before the compressed gases update require change now again it's not a big deal and not only that the developers have facilitated us given us this beautiful list that I could search and go through one by one, but it'll still take several hours for me. So I don't do it. Maybe I'll start doing it depending on the time I have available to me. But for now, without that pressure relief valve, all of these vehicles, everything here can only go to about 20% full or 15% full before it stalls out. So even if you have 15% of your t gas left in your tank, it won't fully <laughs> use up. It'll get drain it'll stop working because of that super super low pressure in your tank. So again, this is more like a public service announcement for all those people who may have encountered this issue. I can't believe I only encountered it after I was developing my generator setup. Um I didn't really use my creations to that level to that like as long as that I just would test them out for maybe five ten minutes or whatever but never get low fuel in them so until I did that I learned that so again long story short always 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 have a pressure relief valve in your creations for your fuel tanks you have to have it otherwise you're going to come across problems Maybe some of you will laugh, and that is totally fine. We're all in this together. We're going and learning the ways of Stormworks. So hopefully you learned something new. If not, you're ahead of the curve. You're ahead of me for sure. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content, more creations. I do have certain things almost completed. I have the newest version of the Alta Locomotive with some, some significant changes, especially in the programming that's going to be coming out soon. So I hope that all of you will enjoy that. Um, yeah, stay tuned for all that good stuff. And until next time, happy Stormworksing, everyone.